Good morning, my people, my people, my people, my people. My name is Chief Strongblood, St. Vincent and the Grenadines' favorite and most hated son. I am the diaspora machismo. My people, it was another beautiful day for a protest, and I enjoyed every moment of my protest. Let me first remind you that the front of my sign says, I don't want the white man's money, his woman, his friendship, or his fame. And the reverse of my sign says, White man, why have you enslaved the African American? My people, all in all, it was another beautiful day for protest. And you know, after I've finished protesting and I've given you an update, it is always my pleasure and delight to speak to you about something from the word of the Most High. And for the past few weeks, we have been dealing with the topic, who are the Caucasians? My people, we have learned a lot of things about the Caucasians, the most secretive nation in the entire world. We have learned that the Bible speaks about the Caucasians and it does, the Bible doesn't speak about the Caucasians in a positive light. As a matter of fact, the Caucasians of Bible time are the Edomites. The most I say hate them and you hate them forever. And in Deuteronomy chapter 28 was speaking about the consequences of Israel when if we don't keep the Most High and be faithful to him, the Most High plan to send the Caucasians to whip us back into shape. But our people are still naked. We did not follow the whipping. We do not get the message from the whipping. In Deuteronomy chapter 32, the Most High also speaks about the Caucasian nation. In Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 21, this is what the Most High says to Moses. You have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities, and I will move them to jealousy with those who are not people and I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. My people, when the Most High God spoke here, he was speaking about what he is going to do to the Israelites for what they have done to him. Remember, the Most High God says that the Israelites, the children of the transatlantic slave trade, we are the apple of his eyes. And he said, anyone who touches you, touches the apple of his eyes. He says that he will always be our God and we will always be his people. He says that he will put the fear of us and the dread of us in the heart of all of our enemies. He says, if you're faithful to me, I'm going to bless you beyond you can ever think about, beyond your wildest dreams. And if you are not faithful, I'm going to curse you because as it pleased me to prosper you, it will also please me to destroy you when you are unfaithful. So here in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 21, the Moshe is speaking about the Caucasians again. He referred to them as not being people. That is because they are a half-breed, devils and man, and their progenitor, the father, those dreams that they carry is the devil's dreams. And he also referred to them as foolish because in essence, the Caucasians is a foolish nation. They are not as intelligent as other nations around the world. But through brute, brute, brute force, they have imposed themselves on every nation, steal the culture and science of every nation, and they hug it for themselves. And now, they set themselves on the, on, the, on the world scene as the most brilliant. And that is because they have stole the teachings and science and mathematics from every nation of the world. My people, this is just the simple fact. 
When the Caucasians come up to a man like me, they will never win a battle against me. And especially how the Most High God is directing my path and my thoughts onto the path and the thoughts of righteousness. The Most High God tells me every plan that they make, what they are hoping to accomplish, everyone they send to me. The Most High God shows me them and tell me exactly what are their mission and what were the instructions they were given. Now this foolish nation is hoping that I will participate in my own destruction and follow their counsel and try to be their friend and have them enslave me like they have enslaved the African American, the Asians, the, the Hispanics and all of the other nations that are here. I will never participate in my own destruction. The only people who the Caucasians can destroy and fool are those people who endeavors to be their friend and those people who are greedy and are looking for something that the Caucasians have. My sign says I don't want the Caucasians money. Their woman, their friendship, or their fame. There is nothing that this nation have that I want. There's nothing that this nation have that I will go after. Even the pressures that they put on me to try to get me to betray my God and to, be, and to sell my freedom to them. Those pressures are nothing. I've gone through those pressures since I was a child. The most I have prepared me for a time like this to stand up to these evil bastards and watch them in their face and they can't do me nothing. They have invested millions of dollars. They have bring thousands of people to try to lure me into homosexuality so that they can make me a slave and destroy me one time. Do you think that I am a foolish man? Even the members of the sheriff department are apprehensive in dealing with me. The members of the Los Angeles Police Department are apprehensive in dealing with me. They will deal with people all around me. But when it comes to me, they watch me and they go on their way. Do you think that I will trade up this kind of power that the Most High God have endowed upon me? Where even my enemies are afraid to look in my direction. Even those people who my enemies send and as in law enforcement are afraid to watch in my direction, my people. Why would I do such a thing? Every PD in Los Angeles County knows who I am. Every PD in California knows who I am. The FBI knows who I am and so does the CIA and they can't touch I. They can try to do whatever they want to do. They will never be able to win a battle against me. They try to culture me into how to behave when the police come and deal with me by arresting some slave who has no choice but to comply with the police instructions. Hoping that I will look at that and model my behavior in the same manner. I will never do that. I will never submit myself to them. Never. My people, the Most High has blessed me tremendously. He has given me more than I deserve. It is called grace. And when I should have been punished, he didn't punish me. It is called mercies. Not only that, he has blessed me with a direct communication with the Holy Spirit. He speaks to me directly through the Holy Spirit. I have angels that are encamped around me. They can't do nothing. On many occasions, and I can tell you the story, but I don't have time now. I'll tell him in a future, in a future date. Members of the Los Angeles Police Department were given instructions to shoot me, to kill me. I didn't run. And when they draw the gun on me, or when they were reaching for the gun, I just watched them. And they start trembling. Why? The most I got says he's going to put the fear in me, the fear of me, and the dread of me. 
in the heart of all those who hates me. Ralph Gonzalez, man in California, which is Ross, he only stay behind the scenes and send his cronies to try to deal with me. He is afraid of me. In the same way, Ralph Gonzalez is terrified of me. I can give you experiences when I had encounter with Ralph Gonzalez and I make him tremble. When I was in New York, he sent the FBI after me, thinking that I would have said, oh, the FBI, and I'm afraid. Man, I said to a meeting with the FBI, I met them at a the restaurant. We sat down, we ate, we drank, and we discussed. And the things he didn't want the FBI to know about him, I informed them. I informed them. Anytime they come at me, they're going to lose. The most I've had assured me of victories, only victories over them. When I just came here, almost every week I'm in a fight because they were trying to beat me into submission. And guess what? Everyone they sent to me, I cut their asses like an Israelite should his enemies. Not just any Israelite, a faithful Israelite. Because remember, when you're not faithful, as it pleases the Most High to bless you and to prosper you, when you're faithful, it will please the Most High to destroy you. My people, I know that I am nothing. I am weak like trash. That is why every time I have a temptation that comes my way, when I go down on my knees, I tell the Most High, just as it is, just as, as I feel, I tell him about my passions and I remind him that I can't deal with this. I left it in your hands and he always deal with it for me. My name is Chief Strongblood. Trust in the Most High God and you'll be okay. Stay away from the foolish nation. Stay away from those people who are not people. That is Deuteronomy chapter 32, 21. Chief out.